Hello, welcome back to This Way Madness Lies. My name is Usser. We are continuing on with our play. Good job, everyone. This is going to be the best play ever. Let's take a break for now. So we have a three-day weekend this week. Anyone have plans? Let's go camping. There are some great spots nearby. Ghost stories. You'll never sleep again after you've heard my stories. And s'mores. Mm. Sounds fun. Let's do it. Head to the grocery store to pick up supplies. Off we go. If we split up the list, we can be done in no time. I'm going to eat all the free samples. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, wait! Fine, we'll do it without them. Imogen and Rosalind, can you be in charge of snacks and desserts? And Beatrice, Miranda, and I will take care of dinner. We've got this. You think this will be enough soda? Better grab a few more. Yeah. Yep. Here, have a free cookie. No thanks, I'm full for lunch. No, I must insist. Take a cookie. Seriously, I don't want one. She said she didn't want one. Take it now or else! This isn't right, what's going on? I want to do this the easy way, but have it your way. Transformation! Skip, also I kick puppies. Well, we're, um, oh boy. Bro E. coli. This veggie is not good for you. Boom. 800 experience, wow. You're still okay? Randa and Viola are passed out on the floor along with all the other shoppers and employees. This monster must be draining all their energy. I'll have your energy as well. Watch out for the cookies! Got him! 1300 experience, wow. What happened? I was eating the yummiest cookie and then nothing. Never knew you could get food poisoning so quickly. Actually, what happened is... Uh, we missed out on kicking monster butt? That bites. Cookies were very good, though. Thank you so much for saving us. Don't mention it. That was odd? You're right, this is a great spot. I thought there would be more people up here with the holiday. Last one to the lake is a rotten egg. Hey, wait, we still have to set up the tent. S'mores were absolutely delicious. Our marshmallow keeps blowing up. That's because you leave them in the fire too long. I like them crunchy. That's weird. It's getting late. Time to call it a day. We haven't told any ghost stories yet. Do we have to? I don't want nightmares tonight. It's a rite of passage. You have to have ghost stories at a camp out. That's the rule. I have a greatest ghoulie ghost stories book right here, ready to share with the group. I have a friend at volleyball camp who told me the freakiest story. She swore it was all true, too. Or I could tell a ghost story. It'll be really good. I thought you didn't like ghost stories. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean I can't tell them. Here goes! It begins with a kingly death, an ordinary thing, or maybe not. So, after the king died, a ghost started roaming the halls of the castle. The ghost that looked like the king. Friends of the king's son told him about the ghost, so one night he set out to see the ghost for himself. And find the ghost he did. The ghost of the king then told him that his death was no mere accident, nay, he was killed by his brother. And it was up to the dead king's son to avenge his father. Isn't this a Shakespeare play? Yeah, it's just Hamlet, right? What's wrong with that? It's an amazing ghost story. We've heard enough. Next! Oh me, it's my turn. There's this graveyard that was super scary. I'm talking so scary. This one teenager dared another one to go alone to the cemetery late at night. 
the teenager went to the graveyard and to prove she had been there she was supposed to stick a knife in the ground so she stuck a knife in the ground and then she couldn't move the hand grabbed her from the grave and then the guy with a hook hand killed her hook hand what guy with a hook hand when her friend showed up the next day it turned out that she had stuck the knife in her own shoe and died of fright didn't she just say the guy with the hook hand killed her she thought that but actually she just died because it was so totally scary this is the worst i got a good one if you dare can't be any worse than what we've heard so far i heard from a, this one from a friend of mine from china there's a tour bus heading to well i can't pronounce that Zhang Shan. Young man got out at midnight along with an old woman. There were a few people already on the bus, all dressed in old fashioned traditional clothing. Young man got a weird feeling about the other passengers, but kept it to himself. Then suddenly the old woman started to yell that the young man had stolen her wallet. Forced the bus driver to stop and let them off so she could drag the young man off to the police. Young man protested that he had done nothing wrong, but then the woman told him to look closely at the feet of the other passengers. Specifically, their absence of feet. The old woman explained that the bus was full of undead seeking to feed on unwary passengers. They both exited the bus and stood on the side of the road as it drove away. The young man thanked her. Then the old woman grinned an unearthly grin. She was one of them, and she just wanted that young man all to herself. Next day, the police found the corpse of the young man drained of all fluids. Nearby, they found an abandoned bus with skeletons and a tank of gas... and a gas tank full of blood. Wow. Sweet dreams! <laughs> I thought I saw the old lady from Beatrice's story in my room last night. Turned out it was just my curtains and I transformed for nothing. Next time, I want to choose the entertainment. Did you see the championship last night? No. I'll tell y'all about it. Well, Serena was going up against... Why doesn't this game have a runaway command? Yeah! And the fuses have to ignite even if they're wet. What are you up to? Nothing, just prepping for the play. The stage will light up and all eyes will be on me. It's gonna be great. I do know that Miranda gets relatively little stage time. When you've got as much star power as I do, a little goes a long way. Okay. Aren't hold lists annoying? I'm fifth in line for the book I have to read for social studies. Why didn't they just buy enough for the whole class? That's weird. Curse that expensive frozen treat machine they wasted all the school budget on. Don't say anything you're going to regret later. You're right, I could never stay mad at you. Sorb at 3,000. Uh, okay. Oh god. Because your teacher is stuck at home because her keys have been stolen in a llama home <laughs> invasion. <laughs> the amazing Mr. Barkin will be taking over her class until she can convince the llama to return her keys. How does she keep getting away with this? Probably wondering what a computer science teacher knows about Shakespeare. There's no more faith in thee than in a stewed prune. Rest assured that I was once a thespian extraordinaire and have been in many of the bard's greatest plays. In fact, in the play that you're studying, Macbeth, I played the third witch. It was an all-boys school. That leads me to my first question. What prediction about Macbeth do the witches make? You there, will you share your great knowledge with the class? Didn't they predict he would become king? What a delightfully lucky guess. You know, I saw Peter O'Toole as Macbeth in a production at the Old Vic in 1980. He was sublime. Well, he captured the audience's attention. How long is he going to go on like this? Oh, yes, of course. Next question. When the witches predict that none of women born can kill him, what does Macbeth think they mean? Why don't you enlighten us, Imogen? Yeah, help me out, my dear thespian. He's immortal. It's not quite right. He thinks that no man can kill him. All right, close enough. Thespian, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you look up the answer on this little thing called the internet? I could have, but it's it's more fun to be wrong every time. This prediction by the witches is very important here because it is the impetus for the entire story. See, when I was playing one of the witches, I imagined teacher drones on for the remainder of the class period. 
Cats like playing with yarn. I wonder if Neko dragons are the same way. Only one way to find out. Maybe this is a bad game to play with something that can fly. Almost time for tonight's performance. I'll clean up later. Good, Boatswain. Have care. Where's the master? Play the men. I pray now. Keep below. Where's the master, Boatswain? Uh, did you not hear? You mar labor. Keep your cabins. You do assist the storm. Nay, good. Be patient. When the sea is... Hence, what cares these roars for the name of the king? Two cabins, silence, trouble us not. Good, yet remember whom thou hast aboard. None that I love more than myself, you are a counselor. You can command these elements to silence and work the peace of the present. We will not hand a rope more. Use your authority. If you cannot give thanks, you have lived so long, and make yourself ready in your cabin for the mischief of the hour, if it so happen. Cheerly, good hearts. Out of our way, I say. Cue the waves. Students are pouring out buckets of water onto the stage. And the explosion. Wait, explosion? We didn't discuss this. Stage is now on fire. Rosalind, now the audience is wet. I may have overdone things. You think? <laughs> That's what I just said. Can't believe that people actually stayed on after the sprinklers went off. That's the power of the bard, baby. But for future reference, no pyrotechnics, okay, Rosalind? You have to admit, it looks spectacular. Do we? Do we really? Our new mission is from the world of Twelfth Night. Ship of the Viola is the play is sinking and they need us to help out. Isn't our ship supposed to sink at the beginning of the play? Yes, but through natural causes, not through the Eldritch Nightmare Beast killing and eating everyone on board. Ooh. Viola in the play is supposed to be a shipwreck survivor, not nightmare food. Still feels weird that the victory condition is to have the ship successfully sink, though. We jump into the other worlds. Those worlds are based on his plays that are being attacked by nightmare monsters. Then we transform into magical girls and save the day. When you stop and think about it, most of what we do doesn't make a lot of sense. That's very true. Yola! She needs our help. Let's transform. I kick puppies. I thank thee. Lead me on. Just like last time, the viola in this world looks and fights the same as ours. This is so weird. Oh, my poor brother. A chance he is not drowned. What think ye? It's probably already monster chow, but we might as well look for him anyway. Wow. <coughs> <coughs> Leave it to us. We'll find him in no time at all. Pro tip, don't forget to check and change your party members' traits frequently. Your traits tend to give larger stat bonuses. Okay. I want the treasure. How do I get the treasure? Hmm. We'll try going this way. Two are down, man. These guys were pretty brutal. Level 16, new ability call, envy. All right. Music's pretty awesome. Surprisingly fast when it goes berserk. It's a snail. All right. Ooh, treasure. A flashlight. This item deals light damage. Oh, uh, well. Not that useful then. Ooh. Is this how I get to... Oh, I can't get there. I can't go through the water, so I can't get that treasure chest. No! 
All right, moving on. Oh, can't go that way either. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's more treasure that way. Still can't go through water. Apparently we can't swim. I assume we'll take care of that at some point. Okay. Ship is filling with water. They generally have a bilge pump that could remove water from the hull. We could use it to lower the water level or raise it. Were you trying to drown us? Sometimes in old RPGs, you have to switch the water level back and forth to get through tough dungeons. I guess that makes sense. Does it make sense? The correct answer to that question is no. It goes nothing. We just should check and see if we can reach new places now. Yeah, we can. All right, what do we got now? We got our treasure. We got a fan. It deals wind damage. That's kind of funny, but... Um... Okay. Ugh, what is that? Siren wants to start a synth pop group. Sure. And now we're level 17. New trait, contrary. Uh, new ability, twin strike. That sounds awesome. Interesting. We need to find a bilge pump again. We've got water to lower. Oh. This is the weirdest ship layout I've ever seen, by the way. It's huge. You activate the device. Yay! I thought I was going to get to a fight with those guys. Oh, it's a lot of them. Okay, do I go down? That allows me to go back up there, but I've already been there, because I've been on the upper deck. Aha! Can we use the cannon? I want to use the cannon. Ooh! Tentacles, pure malignant energy. Scurvy sea dog needs more citrus. <laughs> Wow, 3,000 for that one. Level 18, new ability, Ruse. Uh, she's got full abilities, so it would have to be better than something I've got. One hundred percent stun, vulnerable if stunned. Two hundred percent stun if you do it while hyper. Uh, no. I don't really see that I need that. Ooh. Aegis. This item blocks the next attack. Okay. I saw stairs, didn't I? No, I haven't found any stairs or a way to get up yet. Okay. Okay. There's my stairs. Uh-oh. More monsters to fight. Boom. Just keep spamming those AoEs at the start of the battle and that does a lot. Oh no! I gotta pump more stuff out! Level 19. Wow. New trait, resolute. New trait, piercing. Responsive. Wow. Okay. Let's look at traits. Start with Inspire buff. No. 
Ruse can be reused. If I was going to use Ruse, that would be great. Uh, share heals with all allies when hyper. That'll be useful. Alright. Let's see where we're going now. Aha! Activate the device! There's a treasure chest up past that monster, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to move on. Level 20. Man, I'm flying through it. Inspire ability is now more powerful. Stunned. Toxic cloud. Setup. And setup just gives me more attack. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Can't go that way. Ah, there it is. You activate the device. Yay! Ooh, treasure. You got a bigger backpack. You could equip more items for combat. I hardly ever use my items. Okay, where are we at now? Are we finally at the end? Yes! Sebastian! As I am a true woman and no man, my brother shall not die at your cephaloid hands. I am a citrine. In the name of the cosmos, I'll punish you. Barely worth our time. Life is but sport, and I am the destined victor. We are the High Drama Society! It's sashimi time! Okay, start him off with a poison cloud. Kraken Thulu, Cthulhu's pet. Okay. Ooh, ice attack, huh? He's got an AoE, that's not good. All right. make him vulnerable. Unfortunately, we're not doing much attacking this round. We need to recharge all our abilities. Okay, let's do... Light. Yeah, that hit him. Uh, Pierce, Poison Bane. Ooh. 12,000 experience. Level 21. Balanced, impeccable. Victory is ours! Sebastian is thrown off the ship. Sebastian was my brother too, so when he was... So when he suited to his watery tomb. Viola's thrown off the ship. This just doesn't feel like a proper victory. Get us out of here. Dimensional portal activation! Thank goodness we're back. I was getting seasick. I'm gonna eat so much sushi purely out of revenge. Take that, fishes. It's fun to see other dimensional viola, though. Was she just like me? Nowhere near as fun as you. Now that we really gave her a chance to uh, have fun, not that we really gave her a chance to have fun, what with the sinking ship and giant monsters. That's so weird. I wish I could have been there. That must be how the twins feel all the time. I have a brother. I have a brother and sister who were twins. Are they identical? One's a boy and one's a girl. Of course they aren't identical. Well, you never know. Yes, you do. So for our next play, I was thinking we could do much ado about nothing. Finally, it's my turn to shine. And that right there is the perfect stopping point. We went through another dungeon. We saved another person. Ish. I mean, they kind of died anyway, but they were supposed to die. Anyway, that will be all for this one. I'm just keeping throwing out those reminders that I will be switching to live streaming on Twitch. It'll be happening Friday at my normal time period, um, but it won't be this Friday. I'm getting out the word, and I will let you guys know through social media and Discord when it will be. So, 
keep an eye out for that. Anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!